Hello everyone, today I am going to create the fully parametric family of a kitchen cabinet in Revit. The door of this kitchen cabinet can rotate at any angle between 0 to 180 degrees at its hinge point. But before we start, let me remind you to like and share my videos, leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any difficulties or queries related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. So now let's start. Open new template family file of generic model wall based. This template file has a constraint of wall as its host. So everything you draw in this uh, template file can only be placed on the walls in the project file. Go to placement site elevation. Select the reference plane and place two vertical and one horizontal reference planes as shown in the video. Place the dimensions of vertical and horizontal. Make sure to keep the uh, vertical reference planes as equal. Now assign parameters to these uh, dimensions. I have named them as height and width of the kitchen cabinet. Now I am going to set them as um, 3 feet height and 2 feet width but you can adjust the dimensions as you want. Now go to create tab. Select extrusion, set the reference plane to this wall, select rectangle from the dropper and draw a rectangle as shown in the video. Give it an extrusion end of 1 feet. You can also assign the parameter to this extrusion end as the depth of the kitchen cabinet. Now again place a reference plane at the placement side make it equal go to create tab select void extrusion set the reference plane to this rectangle of the extrusion you have just drawn and draw another rectangle on top of it give this rectangle an offset of one inches Fillet the edges and then delete the uh, rectangle on the outer side. Draw a, draw a line at the center and give it an offset of half inches on both sides and then fillet it with the outer rectangle. Give it an extrusion end of 11 inches. You can also um, place a parameter to this uh, extrusion, this void extrusion. I'm going to name it extrusion sub then go to the uh, properties panel and assign a formula to this parameter and the formula would be the depth of cabinet minus one inches one inches being the thickness of the sheet now you can see that we have created the shelves of the kitchen cabinet now we have to draw the door so for that assign a name to this reference plane I'm going to name it D go to left elevation set the reference plane to D 
Now place a reference plane at this point, a vertical reference plane. Place a dimension to it. And assign a parameter to this dimension as the depth of cabinet. Now select the reference line and place it at this point. Assign a parameter to this reference line as the panel height. Add a formula to this parameter as the height of cabinet divided by 2 as there are two panels of this door. Click on align then select the reference plane and lock it down at this corner point as shown in the video. Now place an angular dimension of the uh, between the reference line and the reference plane and assign a parameter to this angle. Now you can see that this reference line can rotate at any angle between the reference between these two reference planes at its hinge point at which we have locked with the help of a line command. Now select extrusion, set the reference plane to this reference line and draw a rectangle as shown in the video. Assign this extrusion the parameter of the width of the kitchen cabinet. Now again go to left elevation. Go to create tab. Set the reference uh, plane to D and place a reference line at this point. The reference line should be vertical. Assign a parameter of panel height to this reference line. And again draw an extrusion at this reference line. In the, by the same process. Now open a new family template file of profile. And draw a sectional profile of the design which you want to create in the panels.
save this profile and load it into the project. Go to the kitchen cabinet file, go to the placement site elevation, select vo void sweep, set the uh, reference plane to this to this panel and draw a rectangle. Now give it an offset of 2 inches. Fillet the edges and delete the outer rectangle. Click OK and then select this profile cabinet which you have just drawn. Then go to the left elevation. Adjust the position of this profile. And then click this tick mark. The design has now been created in the panel. Repeat the same process with the uh, other panel as well. Select extrusion, set the reference plane to this panel. And draw the handle. Draw the elevation of the handle. Keep it equal. Now I don't want this rectangle to be attached to the uh, kitchen cabinet. So for that uh, you can adjust the extrusion and end the extrusion start values. So uh, as it has to move it away from the panel. Now draw the connecting points of this handle for that select extrusion. Set the reference plane to this handle. Select the circle. and draw at it at this point mirror it from the center line place two reference planes as shown now keep it equal so that if you change the uh, the dimensions of the kitchen cabinet the handle will move accordingly and it will not be misplaced again adjust the extrusion and end the extrusion start so that it is connected to the handle and the panel
Now assign materials to this handle and the kitchen cabinet. change the dimensions of the uh, change the dimensions of this kitchen cabinet to see it is, if it is working correctly and you can see that you can easily open and close the door of this kitchen cabinet with by just adding values in the angle parameter Now open new architectural template file. Place a wall and then load this kitchen cabinet into the project file and place it on the wall. This kitchen cabinet can only be placed on the walls. So Now you can also adjust the elevation of this kitchen cabinet from by adding value here. For example, I'm going to place it at five feet from the floor. so that's all for today i hope you like this video if you have any difficulties or queries related to rabbit you can ask me anytime also if you want me to upload any specific tutorial just tell me and i will try to upload it as soon as possible i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe